you are stars. <laughs> You're not an American Idol. No, actually, that isn't quite true. All of you are star material. <laughs> you see, the stablest element for the nucleus is right here. These two, iron and nickel. That's why the center of the Earth is iron and nickel. I can do fusion in stars. I make hydrogen to helium. I can make helium into carbon, nitrogen, oxygen. I can make those into the heavier elements of iron and nickel through fusion. And then we're done. Iron doesn't fuse. Nickel doesn't fuse. So where did everything heavier than this come from? A process called a supernova. When a star is so big that when it collapses, the energies produced can put nuclei not just into more stable states, but some less stable states too. Net, it still was a net energy sink, right? You made a lot of iron and nickel, but along the way, you made some tails of the distribution, and you make all of this other stuff. This was all made in stars. Our star is not a first generation star. We know that because we got iron and nickel and everything heavier than them. So, all of those heavier things that make up parts of your body, right? The minerals in your body, the minerals in the Earth's core. Some of those minerals are radioactive. And a radioactive element will decay, meaning turn into something stable, and give off heat. The things it moves into are moving faster. In addition, the Earth's core is still cooling. It was molten once, came spun off from other stars. That heat, which again originally comes because of a supernova somewhere, which is fusion, can seep up to the ground and then occasional place you can actually boil water uh, right from pumping the water down into the ground. And that's your geothermal. 